guys, it's me Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that big red button to subscribe and the little bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. So today I have a very fun and exciting video because I have been waiting so long for this day to come and it's finally here and I decided to make a video for you guys. So I found a Julie Albright doll for really cheap online and she isn't in that bad of a condition and the only thing is that her limbs are kind of loose but not really loose so that's fine. She has a little bit of like, like markups all over her body and the main thing is her hair is all like rough and dry and also it is cut off but that's fine. So as you guys can see from the title of this video, I decided to customize this doll into a unicorn doll. So the first step is to clean her up. So what I'm going to be using to clean this doll is a Mr. Clean sponge and some warm water. So I'm going to start with her feet. all the spots off of her and this is what she looks like and she looked pretty dirty but overall she wasn't that dirty because this is all like the dirt that I got off of her and now I'm going to be taking her wig off with a spoon So I finished taking off her wig and this is what she looks like. It took me about 5 minutes to get me, to get it off but I finally did it. And now it's time to re-wig her. So the wig that I have is from Exquisite Doll Designs and it comes with this amazing packaging. 
And it has this unicorn poop in it, which is very appropriate because I'm making a unicorn doll. I love this bag. This is so pretty. And then I got some unicorn poop. That side. And then here is the wig. It's so pretty. I love the colors. And this one is in the color Pastel Dream. So let's get it out of this bag. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, look how pretty this is. So I'm going to take off the hairnet. The colors are so like pretty and pastel y and it's so curly and I it's so soft and I love all the colors. It has like yellow, blue, pink. I think there's a purple in here somewhere and like some green. It's super pretty. So I totally recommend you guys get this wig. I love it so much. So now it's time to put it on my unicorn doll. So before I glue the wig on my doll, I'm going to try it on to see what it looks like. She looks so pretty. So this is what she looks like in the front. And here is the back. I love this wig on my doll. So now it's time to glue it on. So I finished my doll and putting her wig on. She looks so beautiful and the wig looks just amazing on her. And I don't really want to like mess with her hair because the glue is not completely dry yet. So I am just going to decide to dress her up right now. So I have a couple of outfits that I have for options for her. I have this cute little like rainbow tutu that I made. It has some of the colors of the rainbows, not all of them, but it still looks adorable and it's really poofy. And then I have this unicorn t-shirt that we made and this is, I love this t-shirt so much because it has like these ruffles on the side. It kind of matches the tutu. And it says, I'd rather be with my unicorn friends. But the only problem is, I like putting the skirts, like, over top, like, to put this shirt under and then the skirt over it. Um, but then if I put the skirt over it, all you can see is, I'd rather be with my, and then, like, unicorn friends is covered up by the skirt. So that's the only problem with that. But I still love this shirt so much. And then I have this white pair of tights because unicorns are white. And why not make her legs white? And then I have these adorable little white shoes, which I love so much. They're so cute. And then I also have this other outfit from Joanne. It is not like a hard doll body, but it says for 18-inch dolls. Um, these are for soft dolls. And if you guys have seen the unicorn onesie that I've had in some of my previous stop motions, the, that onesie is from the same brand. And I thought might as well get a different unicorn outfit for my new unicorn doll. And this one is just like a pretty pastel like top. It's like a dress and then the top is pastel colors that matches her hair. With this sparkly unicorn on it and like a tutu and these purple shoes. So, and then finally I made these headbands for the doll. I, have, I tried to make different like styles of headbands. So I made this one, which is with Velcro, and this one, which is with elastic. And then I made these two, which are the old style headbands that you guys have seen in my cat ear video. These are unicorns, and they're just the pipe cleaner ones. And I love these so much. And if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to make these, then just comment down below, and I'll make one of those videos for you guys. But I think that out of these four, I think I'm going to go with one of the pipe cleaner ones because I love how these look on the doll's head. They just fit so much prettier. And I think I'm going to choose this one because it has all of the beautiful pastel colors that match her hair better. So now it's time to dress her up. I think that I'm going to choose this outfit. So now let's get this open and dress up my amazing unicorn doll.
looks like. I think she looks so beautiful. The dress matches perfectly with her hair. And I added the white tights. And I decided to change the shoes because I didn't like the style of these. And they're really, still really cute. But I like these more. They look more unicorn to me. So this is what she looks like. So for the final touch of my unicorn doll, I'm going to brush her hair a little bit and then I'm going to put her headband on. Try to be really careful so I don't mess up her hair because it's still not dry yet. like a beautiful unicorn so this is what my new unicorn doll turned out to look like she is so pretty and I'm so happy with how she turned out and I think I'm going to be naming her Ella because I think that name matches how she looks perfectly and I want you guys to comment down below if you have any unicorn name suggestions that I could name my doll and also I want you guys to comment down below how well do you think my new doll turned out also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!